We have some escapees this morning. It looks like all the geese and ducks are out, except for this one guy up here. And I don't know how the gate got open, but they're out and they're happy to be out on this grass. So we'll, we'll leave them out for a little while and then we'll probably feed them back in there. But we'll let them have their fun this morning. Kind of a cool way to wake up. <laughs> Good morning. I think you got some oatmeal on your face, buddy. It's yogurt. It's yogurt. He's got some yogurt on his face. This dumpster has furniture in it and trash in it, mattress in it. And my goal this morning is to top that dumpster off, get it completely filled up um, because they're coming to pick up that dumpster today. Okay, we're about to leave. The dumpster's loaded. I just got a shower because I was dirty after hauling all this old wood and junk. We are on the road to Asheville. We got an appointment today and we're gonna try to get out on the mountaintops because this weather uh, yesterday and today has been brilliant incredibly beautiful the colors this year the fall colors are amazing and we're gonna try to get out and enjoy them yeah. a little bit this afternoon we haven't really enjoyed them yet so we are going up into the splendor for the day after our appointment yep let's go I'm excited. so we picked up the kids or we're picking up the kids right now we're done with our stuff in Asheville and we're at my parents place which is kind of like a little garden paradise and we're done with the city. Heading up the parkway. And now we're headed to the mountains. Here we go. We're gonna go up and back and then- I brought snacks. Take a hike off the top and then go home. All the kids wanna know is if I brought food. Going to one of my favorite spots. It's quite a ways from our house, but it's um, somewhere we try to go at least a couple times a year. And this fall leaf time is one of the nicest, so we're gonna just hit the road. We'll show you some of the drive. We'll meet you at the top, bye. It's amazing, it's just incredible. Here's a place I've been hiking and hunting many times in this valley, probably a hundred times, honestly. Many, many, many times I've been through this valley. There, there's so many black bear out here. It would blow your mind how many black bear live in this valley. You think it's gonna be any good? No. Hey, it's a little sour. It was Dad's Did idea. you try one? It's a little sour. It's a little sour. Do you like it, Dad? I just put it in my mouth. They look like tiny tomatoes, and I don't like tomatoes. What are you trying, Arthur? Mountain ash berries. They're fermented. I'll go up on me. Those are awful. Blow up. I wonder if they are because we found them on the ground. Okay. I think he dropped it. Oh. <laughs> he's just, I think he's either copying us because he didn't bite into it. <laughs> Got it. That goes wise, a little bit hollow.
I just wanted to show you that last clip and it's just a gorgeous spring. Just water coming out of the ground, flowing down the mountain. It's one of the things about living here that is so special and precious is that we have water everywhere. Clean mountain water. Our own water for our house comes from a spring similar to that. Also, springs are not rare. I mean, they're everywhere. This whole trail is lined with them. So, I mean, really, if you didn't bring water, you could just fill up your water bottle from the spring. Trust me, you're gonna wanna explore up here. Places to come in the mountains are mine. Maybe not Arthur's. He likes kind of anywhere. Are the balds. And um, the balds are places on the tops of the mountains that don't have trees. The reason I love it is because you can see forever on a clear day. Now, this is not my favorite bald, but I'm happy to just be up here. You feel so free. You don't feel like anything's closing you in. People who live out west have that free open feeling. But here, we're often down in the valleys and in the coves and the hollers. It's very, very rare that we're way up on top in the wide open spaces. So I always feel the most alive up here. Ooh, I'm gonna go back in here. No I brought supper. The kids are gonna go explore in all these bushes and I'm going to it's set it up. <laughs> There's no rattlesnake. Yes there is. Right dad? One of the reasons I love being on the tops of the mountains is that the ecosystem is a lot different when we get up this high. Anyway, there's just a lot of different plants up here that we don't have growing uh, where we live because we're down in the valley. And so it's just special to get to come up here and see some plants that I only get to see a couple times a year. And sadly, we didn't get up here before the first big frost. This is, um, this is a beautiful, plant called Angelica. It's one of my favorite ones that grows on the tops of the mountains. And before the first hard frost, it's the most beautiful colors of like deep purple and green and even some yellow. And it has these seeds that look a little bit like dill seeds. They look like but they smell kind of like, they smell kind of like, <laughs> would you say licorice? No, they look like mini. They look like dill to me, like a larger dill seed. But they smell kind of like, um, like licorice I call to me. I call them fireworks. You call them fireworks. It kind of looks like fireworks for right hill. Uh -huh. And oh yeah, the springs off. Oh, I'm gonna do it to that one. Okay. And then they fly everywhere. This here is a gorgeous wild blueberry bush. Um, there's quite a few blueberry plants up here on Craggy, but this is not where we like to go picking for wild blueberries because. A lot of people come up here. So we have our secret spots that we know about. Continuing on a theme that Brianna started, these balds up here are just so special. You know, we're only like 2,000 feet above where we live, but the plants up here are not found at the lower elevations. And that's not something that you can say if you live in flatlands or live at the beach. And there's actually layers. This is not the highest ecosystem. There's actually a higher one, which is really similar to southern Canada. I think we may even take you there today. We'll see. On the way up here, actually, we passed the spot. Can I go up this path? Yeah, you can go up the path. We passed the spot called Bull Gap, and that's actually where the last um, American bison in this area, in the eastern area of the country, was killed. You may hear that and say, what? Bison? North Carolina? Yeah, they used to roam these mountains, and there used to be a lot more open land. So these, these hill <laughs> these mountaintop balds and there's some of them left around. This one's maintained by mowing, used to be maintained by grazing. 
animals. Um, and also, from what I've heard, uh, maintain, they were maintained by the Native Americans. And uh, for many years, some of the mo mountain tops were actually burned off around here and there was a lot of open land. It's been a glorious day. Guys, thanks for joining us. We're just loving this day up on the mountains that we got to spend together. So it's been another great day of our lives. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye-bye.